G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. As you can probably tell from the background, I'm currently recording from a hotel, which is a perfect location to talk about today's topic, maintaining a training program while abroad. In my case, Dubai. Before we get stuck into today's topic, if this is your first time on the channel, thanks very much for checking it out. With new content every two to three weeks or so, my videos are really here to bring you a no BS account of my, journey, my personal journey through the world of weight loss and fitness, dispelling the myths that surround the industry and sharing any tips and tricks I pick up along the way, and hopefully motivating a few of you to get started on your own journey as well. If you get any value out of this video, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave me a comment, or check out my social media pages on Facebook and Instagram. So, without further ado, let's talk about weight training from a hotel room. It's pretty easy to maintain a cardio program from pretty much anywhere in the world. You just slap on some trainers and some sunscreen and go for a jog. It's a great way to explore a new city while maintaining a program, and it doesn't require a lot of forethought before you leave home. But what about weight training? It's true that most good hotels have a gym, so beyond making sure you pack your sexiest workout clothes so that everyone else can see you in them, it's really not that hard either. Except if you're anything like me. I hate gyms, and people for that matter. So beyond skipping a week or two completely, what's the alternative? There's some solid videos on YouTube for ideas on, on how to use basic elements in pretty much any hotel room for working out. From the obvious push-ups and sit-ups, through to using any available chair in the room for things like tricep dips, or those weird looking and awkward one-legged squats. But for me, I prefer these. So we can actually show you that on the video, yes? Resistance tubes and bands are available pretty much all over the place. They come in a variety of strengths and, well, weight, weight equivalent strengths. Usually come with ankle straps and handles and an anchor point you can jam in a door pretty safely without marking it. And pretty much offer you the ability to complete a, you know, a completely equivalent exercise for anything you'd usually be doing in the gym, or in my case at home. They're pretty darn cheap too, particularly if you already know the, the weight, the resistance strengths you need, so you don't have to buy a whole pack like I did to get started. And they pack up into a tiny little bag that you can throw in your luggage without really thinking about it. Interestingly though, they actually offer some things that traditional weights a traditional weights-based workout doesn't. A different kind of workout for your muscles than you, that you just can't get from lifting free weights. But let's start by dispelling a myth though. And I've been seeing it come up a lot while I've been researching various things about resistance tubes on the internet recently. That they can't actually help you get those all-important gains. Yes, they absolutely can help build strength and muscle mass. Building muscle tissue is all about progressive overload, which forces your body to adapt by increasing muscle density and eventually ligament, tendon and bone density as well. So as long as you use the tubes or the bands in the right ways and with the right strength right strength and movements, you can most definitely achieve a level of muscle fatigue that will force the body to adapt in a similar way to lifting free weights. Though it's worth noting that the studies I've been reading seem to indicate that it may take a little bit longer to get the same results from tubes as you would from free weights. But tubes also do tend to be a little bit less straining on the joints and ligaments and are less likely to cause you injury in the way that free weights would if you weren't focusing on keeping perfect form. Uh, they're also good to help recover from injury, and they're used all over the physio industry for exactly that reason. Weights only offer resistance in one direction, down, toward, you know, gravity. Which means that changing the angle of resistance involves placing the body and joints in different positions to work the desired muscle groups. That's why we have exercises like decline bench press to limit shoulder rotation and focus on the lower pectorials and triceps. In contrast to something like incline bench press, which will tend to minimize back muscle involvement and work the upper pecs instead. Resistance bands, on the other hand, work completely independently of gravity. So doing something as simple as moving your anchor point in the door from the top of the frame to the bottom will completely change the muscles uh, the same movement will target. They're also a lot less stable, meaning that while you may have to push out a few more reps to hit that same fatigue point for the primary muscle group you're, you're working out, the movements actually tend to recruit more stabilizing muscles surrounding the primaries, which are also very important not only for overall strength, but for preventing injury when you do go back to lifting those barbells and kettlebells. The other major difference from lifting free weights is where in the movement the load on your muscles is highest. Inertia means that when you lift free weights, resistance is strongest at the start of the movement when the weight is stationary, 
with momentum carrying it up to the top of the contraction. And unless you're very conscious of making the effort, gravity is likely to be helping you all the way down to the bottom of the movement as well. Resistance tubes, on the other hand, actually increase the load on the muscle as you reach the peak of the movement or the concentric phase and offer consistent resistance all the way through the motion. So without boring you with a rundown of a complete equivalent program for my full free weights workout that I uploaded on YouTube a few weeks back uh, and that I've been working on for the last three weeks, suffice it, that, suffice it to say that with the bands I can fit into a small shoebox, I've pretty much been able to easily come up with a very similar exercise and muscle fatiguing workout for everything I've been doing in my push, my pull and my leg sessions from the comfort of my hotel room. Do I think it can completely replace free weights as a way to build muscle bulk and strength? I'm sure it absolutely could if you wanted to go down that path, though it might take you slightly longer to see the overall results. But for me, it's a perfect way to make sure I keep my relatively new program for, um, for working out while I'm you know, traveling to various places around the world for work or even interstate, as I can just throw the bands in my luggage and not really think about it until I get to the destination and want to work out. And I don't have to navigate around a multi multicultural miasma of people wearing carefully selected gym, gym outfits and staring at themselves in the mirror while they flail their shoulders around dangerously to push out that one last bicep curl that isn't likely to be doing them any good as they're using every muscle in their body other than their biceps. And that's all I've got time for today. I hope you've got some use out of the video uh, and some new ideas for working out abroad too, or to at least augment an existing free weights program. Um, certainly if you injure yourself, it might be a good way to, to kind of, you know, continue to work out um, while putting less strain on those injuries and actually help you get back onto the road to recovery quicker. Uh, if you did get any use out of this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, or hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. And if you already use resistance bands or tubes on a regular basis as an alternative to or an augmentation to traditional free weights, I'd love to hear whether you've had solid results longer term. In the meantime, I'm excited to explore more of this amazing city, so check, check back in a few weeks for more videos, and hopefully I'll see you soon.